Hi, welcome back to my channel. It turns out that I can bang out videos, but I'm just a procrastinator. I am not usually a procrastinator in anything really. I like to get shit done on time, even before time, but videos are apparently one of those those videos are apparently one of those things for me. All right, so here are the pieces that I used, a big square like two moon shapes and two straps sort of i first hemmed the big rectangle on one of the shorter sides and start shoring from the top down i did that by ironing it once and then folding it while sewing over it to make a rolled sort of hem So if you want to share with your sewing machine, shirring, smocking, I'm not sure. If you want to share with your sewing machine, you need an elastic thread and you put that in your bobbin, you hand wind it and you put it in and then you should definitely use a trial piece of your fabric and see how it goes and also see how far apart you want the shirt lines to be. I did that here. And I ended up even making the lines a little closer because I thought that would make the whole top a little more stable because I wasn't gonna put anything else in. It's just gonna be the shirring of the top part. And I wanted it to be fitting. So here's me shirring. After I had shirked as much as I thought I needed, I put it, I pinned it, I kind of held it onto myself and I marked where I would need to sew. It's obviously kind of an angled line from your boobs to your waist usually. So I sewed that on an angle and then I got to the waist and I slowly um, faded it outwards so the skirt would have more volume at the bottom. And then I also Finished it by zigzagging. Here I am trying it on and I put the seam so it's in the middle of my back. And this here is a little bit of a wider elastic that I thought would look good um, if I put that on my waist to define the waistline a little bit. And I marked the length that I needed and I divided it into quarters and I pinned it onto my on the inside of my dress. And you have to pull it and sew it because you know it's an elastic. But I used a straight stitch and I only sewed on one of the upper sides of the elastic, but when I tried it on, I felt like that was enough and so I left it that way. Here I am marking out the slit that I would like and you can't really tell so we're gonna move on. I ironed that um, once and then I again sewed it folding it over twice. You kind of have to like blend it in but you can do it it's fine. It looks good at the end. Here is the big piece for my sleeve. I think it's about 40 or 50 centimeters wide and it's just kind of a half moon. First thing I did was hem the bottom part of the sleeve 
and the curve on top will be gathered. <laughs> oh, then I also, while filming, there was a rainbow. There. Ooh, it was double rainbow, but you can tell on camera. Oh, yeah, you can kind of tell. Oh, yeah. So, I sewed two parallel lines because I learned that's actually easier. I also marked the middle of my sleeve and I also marked the middle of my strap. I purposefully made the strap a little bit too long so I can still adjust, have some wiggle room. And then I gathered the sleeve to fit inside of my strap. And I wanted it to be so that the strap only comes out a little bit of my dress. I also made most of the ruffle um, go in the middle of the sleeve and the ends of the sleeve to be more flat. I did that twice and then I sewed it down with a top stitch. Here I am pinning them. Um, I had previously marked the places on the dress while I was wearing it where I would like the sleeves to sit. And then I obviously also tried it on again and then I adjusted. And here I am just sewing them down from the top. I sewed them down with two lines. And here it already is. It was a beautiful day and I almost got burned by the sun. Thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it also thank you for 100 subscribers i'm really surprised it happened pretty quickly even though i'm really bad at uploading thank you so much and if you subscribed you're my hero goodbye They come, you like the summer breeze